Yo, what is going on guys? This is Kate Gnarly. So this is going to be uh, your first time seeing me back from BMT. Um, I'm actually in my tech school dorm right now at Kiesler. And uh, I've been here for about a week to two weeks. Um, I got all my stuff on Thursday, I believe. And uh, I just haven't had time to make videos. My roommate actually just left this morning. So that's it's freaking awesome. Now I'll actually have time to make videos and stuff. Um, and I actually had to reinstall Windows on my computer, so I do need to uh, get Sony Vegas and stuff like that again. But it has been quite a ride. I have a lot to tell you guys. Um, it's it's definitely crazy. Um, BMT seems like it was a long time ago, even though it was only a couple weeks ago. And I look whack with really short hair, but this is actually pretty much the longest that it's been since I've actually um, been back from BMT. So, also I got a new mic, um, so let me know how that is down below. You'll definitely see it in, I'm gonna do like a tour. This is a tour video of the whole dorm, so that's, that's what this video is. Um, I figured it would be like a good video back because I actually haven't had time to like sit down and think about, okay, what am I gonna say about BMT? Um, honestly, it's, it's a lot of information, so. Uh, anyways, let's do that. So I am, sorry, at Keesler Air Force Base in Mississippi. Um, and this is basically what the dorms look like. Um, there's tons of like buildings and it's all in this place called the Triangle. I'll try to put a map up on the screen. And uh, basically all the dorms make like this huge triangle. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Basically, this is the front door um, out there. There's uh, the hallway and stuff, which is actually, that's kind of cool thing. But you have two sinks. So, you know, there's two people to a room. Um, sometimes if they have too many people, there are three mattresses and that's what this other like wall locker thing is for. But I don't think that happens that often. Like some of my friends have bunk beds, but they just have an empty mattress, so. Anyways. Uh, here is me. Um, I don't really honestly want Let me make sure it's in focus I don't really want to wear these ABUs in the video just because they're kind of awkward like they're really Like they're there. It's cool to wear them, but I feel like I'm flexing really hard on YouTube and I'm like yeah Air Force, you know, like I, I don't know about that. So but this is the microphone that I got I'm not gonna touch it. It's probably really sensitive. Um, it is a vidmic Micro I think um, it's like the lowest model that you can get for your camera um, like the cheapest one, but it actually sounds pretty freaking good. So anyways um, A lot of the time like people are constantly in and out of here So people are in and out of here like about two to three months up to like six to seven months Maybe eight months. It depends on if you get washed back and stuff like that But they always leave behind shit like there's always just Stuff like my roommate literally gave me most of this stuff um, and then like when I get my next roommate, he gets all of those sheets and stuff so that he doesn't really have to go buy them if he doesn't really want to. Um, like my roommate was going to give me some stuff, but I wanted my own stuff so I went and bought some. But basically like they always leave crap behind. Um, so, and also the BX is literally in the triangle so like you can walk to the mini BX and just be perfectly fine too. So that's awesome. Um, the water here is I like this is I, I'm really like detailed and specific about things so like look at the water like I like streams of water but it's literally like tiny strands which can kind of be annoying um, but I mean it's whatever so I don't know towels I just use my BMT towels look at those look at these beauties are disgusting but yeah so the bathroom I mean it's just like a bathroom it's literally like there's a toilet and then the shower was just like a basic, you know, glass shower. It's not that bad. Like, the this thing actually, I don't know if it's like this for every dorm, but this freaking shower head spits out water, man. Let me tell you, compared to like BMT showers, this thing is clutch. The hot water is amazing. Um, but again, it's just, you know, shower, 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 so. Um, besides that, you keep all of your stuff in these lockers. So these wall lockers, there's two of them, obviously there's pretty much two of everything. Um, they have like these weird, let me make sure it's in focus, sorry. The autofocus is really loud, so uh, the lock goes through this part and then it opens just kind of like a fucking door. And yeah, you have your little drawers and then uh, like other stuff, so. Um, I try to stay like really organized with some things just because like, I swear I didn't clean this just just for the video. I actually did not do that. It looked like this beforehand. 
Um, also, you're probably wondering why I have a Nerf gun. Our dorm has like Nerf gun fights on Sundays and stuff, so that's pretty cool. I went out, went out and bought that, but um, there's nothing too much to this. Um, like, you're supposed to keep valuable stuff in here just so that like your roommate isn't gonna come steal all of your shit. Um, but usually people are cool and they're not gonna do that, so no worries there. Um, besides that, you have like two regular dressers. Two beds, um, two lamps. Um, you keep your 341s right here on your night display. If you don't know what 341s are, basically what happens is whenever you get in trouble um, at BMT or tech school and stuff, you carry around these little papers with your information on it and then they write down what you did wrong or what you did right because it's an excellence and discrepancy form. Um, and then basically you'll be rewarded or punished based off of what you did. That's pretty much it. So anyways, this is like the main part, um, the desk part. Um, you're probably wondering why I have a printer. Like if you've been to Keys and you're watching this video, you're probably like, why the hell does he have a printer? You really don't need one. Um, the reason I got one is because of what my wife needed a freaking copy of my orders, uh, like a scan copy, but I couldn't just like send a picture or anything, and that scans straight to my phone. So also, in the military, you need a lot of copies of your orders because people are always asking for them. Um, so then you can just hand them out. Um, like I said, I got everything. Um, if you know me, which some of you do, um, I drink a crap load of coffee. So I had Amor send me like all of my coffee stuff uh, just because, uh, I don't know, I just like to drink really good coffee. Like I'm not really about that like basic coffee machine life. Like I just do a lot of like manual brewing and stuff like that just because it's, I, it probably sounds really snotty, but like this, like this kind of coffee, like this is just real coffee. Like it's not like super Starbucks, you know, bulk. Like it's like individual, you know, batches of, you know, beans and stuff, so. But anyways, yeah, this is a coffee grinder if you're wondering what this is. Um, that's a freaking Bluetooth speaker. Um, <clears throat> this is my laptop, it's just like a regular Lenovo Idea Pad, has like an i7, some sort of integrated graphics. It does pretty good for gaming. The reason I'm installing Windows is because I had a lot of issues with deleting files in my C drive and stuff, so that kind of sucks, but. I'm um, just resetting it and everything. This is just like a super cheap mouse. Honestly, like, I just kind of try to make it as homey as possible so that I can feel a lot more comfortable here because being away from home, being away from a more, uh, these past few months has been extremely difficult. So that's why you're gonna see, you know, a bunch of pictures of her up here. And uh, just because, you know, that, that kind of stuff just makes me happy. Uh, I don't really know, so. Um, besides that, like, this is all storage. So like, you just have a bunch of crap in here, like, now, if if you're wondering about inspections, we we do have room inspections, right? Um, now, it really depends on who your MTL is. So, in basic military training, in BMT, we have MTIs, right? Military training instructors. But at tech school, we have these guys or, or females called MTLs, so they're military, military training leaders. Um, essentially, they just kind of inspect you Okay, so here's another thing. I'm just gonna hold the camera. We, a lot of people at BMT and stuff were asking about phasing um, because that was something that was just super questionable. Like, oh, does it still exist? Is it still around? How is it? When you get here to Kiesler, I don't know about Shepard or anything like that, but when you get here to Kiesler, um, you're gonna be in IP week, which is a part of BTP, I guess. As soon as you get here, starts your day one. So you need to be here for a total of 24 days before you can phase to the next phase where you can be in civilian clothes outside of your room and go off base. Um, otherwise, besides that, you're in BTP. I'm not sure what they stand for, but basic transition phase maybe? And it, I don't know, but when you're in BTP, you can't leave your room without ABUs on or uniforms. So you can be in PT clothes if you're gonna go do an activity or you're gonna go do PT or you have to be in ABUs or like your blues if you have some sort of formal thing that you're doing or whatever it may be. So um, it's pretty straightforward. Like BTP, always in uniform, ITP not in uniform. You have to be here for a total of 24 days. You have to pass two room inspections. They have to be consecutive. So they have to be your most recent inspections and you have to pass them in a row. 
Um, and then, so room inspections and uniform inspections, whether that's like a blues open ranks, which is just you line all, all you're all lined up in formation, um, or however your MTL decides to do it, we just do it outside of our door right here. And then um, they just inspect you, make sure you shave, make sure your hair is good, make sure your uniform doesn't have strings on it, stuff like that. Um, so two room inspections, two uniform inspections, and then 24 days. Um, after that, you're good to go. To ITP, I don't think that there's another phase. Um, I haven't heard anything about another phase because after you're in ITP, you can get um, not a waiver, but you can get a form to go off base and stay the night off base for the weekend. You can pretty much do anything in ITP um, as long as you're back by curfew. And uh, here at Keesler, uh, weekdays um, curfew is 2200, so 2200 is 10. 10 o'clock and then uh on the weekends it is t midnight so yeah uh it's not that bad um btp is kind of boring uh like the keys air force base is pretty nice like there's a lot of cool stuff to do here we have paintball um there's a marina on base it's not like you know it's a marina um there's a gym in the triangle there's a theater in the triangle there's like a bar thing here too like there's just a bunch of stuff to do the big bx is kind of a far walk but it's it's um it's 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 really cool like there's a commissary there and stuff like that so it, the bx is awesome just because a lot of stuff's super cheap so um but keesler i guess just like uh what the outside looks like this is what my what i can see we have basketball courts um right out here so that is pretty cool uh, i have yet to play basketball but i did play basketball for like five years before this so uh, anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. Um, I'm gonna make more videos today, hopefully talking a little bit about um, BMT because I know a lot of you only watch me probably for that. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, it feels really good to be in front of a camera again or in front of my camera. Um, let me tell you, I can't even express how happy I am to be out of BMT. I can't explain to you how happy I am to um, just have freedom to even be able to touch technology and stuff like that. Like it was honestly kind of crazy um, being so separated from stuff like that. But I'll get into that in another video. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let me know um, before I actually... Okay, so I'm going to make a BMT experience video and then I'm going to make the BMT Q&A video. The Q&A video is going to be the super specific stuff. Like this is what you need to do BMT and the experience video is just going to be like what I thought of it, I guess, so to speak. So... Um, if you have any questions about it and haven't uploaded the Q&A yet, just drop the question down below because I'll be getting to it. I'm going to try to put as many questions as I can in the video in a timely manner. So uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, peace out.